Hey, what's up everybody? This is Alex from Not Casuals, and today we're going to be playing Star Wars The Old Republic, and uh, we'll be doing some Hotball. Uh, we always get Hotball on my server because there's more Empire than Republic, and uh, Hotball is the only war zone that you actually f can fight the same um, faction, so we end up getting a lot more Hotball than Alderaan and Voidstar, for example. But it's cool. I mean, I like Hotball. It's nice, so... And here I'm going to try and pass to my teammate, and for some reason he's not going to catch it, and I'm like, No! That's your job! But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, he's going to get the ball back, so it's all cool. And um, I'm getting focus fire. Like, every time I run the ball, like everybody's like, Kill that motherfucker! Kill him! Kill him! And we're actually facing uh, a noxious pre-made, which is like an allied, allied guild to us. It's just being cool. And there I had like 20 HPs, like Bubble was running, so I had to use a mid pack. I was pretty scared. I was like, no, I don't want to die. Don't want to die. So I survived, barely. And um, meanwhile, I think the boss is uh, in our possession, but um, I don't know where it is. It's kind of. Ah, uh, yeah, we just lost it. That sucks. Oh well, doesn't matter. We'll get it back. So, uh, just killing people, not caring too much about the ball. I tend to do that sometimes, like, I don't focus on the ball that much, because I trust my team. And I know that sometimes that's a mistake, I shouldn't trust my team. <laughs> well, I'm at school, so... Uh, right now, killing this guy. <laughs> he was like, oh, I want the expertise buff! He had like 5% HP or something. No! You don't take it! It's mine! Even though I'm not gonna go get it. I don't know if the expertise buff is bugged or not, like every time I take it and I open my character window and I look at my expertise, uh, it's not moving, so either it's like a, it's not gonna update in your character window for the duration of the buff, or it's bugged, or it's, I don't know, maybe it's just a display bug, I don't know. Maybe it works, it just doesn't show. It's kinda annoying though, like, I would like to want to know like 15% of whatever I have in expertise, how much it gives me. I mean, I can do the math obviously, but I just want to see it happen, I like appear and shit. And while my team is uh, doing whatever they're doing, I'm dueling this little level 18 because I can. <laughs> I'm sorry, the level 18 was there, so I was like, ah, oh, come play with me. And Xeno's unbeatable, 4 medals without dying. I actually won't get Immortal this game. I will get the amount of medals I need, but I'll at some point I think I'm gonna die when I'm trying to score, so... No uh, Immortal status thingy. Hmm, I'm a sad panda. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So uh, they're actually pretty much zerging it right now, so I'm gonna try and DPS these Noxious guys. And actually, we face Noxious a lot, like very often. And um, but I think the main reason why we face them so much is because it's a pretty big guild, and they always queue like two or three groups. So sometimes we see them, and we love killing them. <laughs> but right now, I think it's only a four-man pre-made because yeah, there's too many other pugs in there. And I have the ball. I have the ball. Something I really like to do when like we're winning by like two or three points, let's say, I really like to troll the enemy team. <laughs> like, let's say I have the ball and like I'm getting a, some people are like chasing me. I'm just gonna give them the ball and then they're slowed, <laughs> and then I just guide them even more. And they're like, when people get the ball, like they have this kind of mindset that kind of change. They're like, oh shit, I gotta run this, I gotta run this. And uh, <laughs> they just stop attacking you and they just try to run it. And it's so funny because <laughs> every time I laugh my ass off and I, I'm killing everybody and I just give them a ball, it's like, ha 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 ha. Oh, I'm gonna score, score. And then I'm getting CC'd. I'm like, no. So my friend got in position, I pass him, and it's a goal. And there's my first that mm, at six medals. So, uh, no, uh, no more uh, status for me. I might get unbeatable actually later on. I don't know. I don't remember if I die again or not. Really? And uh, am I the only one that hate this force field? Because I seriously hate it, like, a lot. Also, I wanted to get, give you guys uh, some tips, um, mainly for the level uh, non level 50s, like people are still leveling. Um, for those of you guys that level that PvP a lot in your leveling phase, um, getting, like, the thing I would do if I were you is. Uh, getting a lot of like a thousand mercenary commendation and a thousand war zone commendation you can get a mercenary commendation at the PvP uh, 
NPC that you see at the beginning of each war zone. And uh, you always trade for like your war zone commendation for mercenary commendation. It's like a 3 for 1 ratio, which is not very good, but it doesn't matter. It's like one of the only ways to get the mercenary commendation. The other way is like uh, war PvP on Tatooine, the spe 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 specific area. Wow. But um, yeah, and getting a thousand war zone and a thousand com mercenary commendation before level 50 is gonna help you, like, because you at least buy one bag, one champion bag, and you cannot hold more than one. So, like, that means that by level 50, you will have a total of six bags if you have like a thousand of each commendation as well that you can buy at level 50, and then you will have your weekly for Ilum and your weekly for the war zone unlocked. If you complete both of these, it's going to give you three more champion bags each, so another six bags, so we're up to 12 bags. They have the ball. Plus we have the two dailies, for one for Ilum, one for the war zone. So that's an additional two bags, two more champion bags, so we're up to 14 bags. If you do this properly at level 50, if you do all your weekly in one day, for example. and um, Let's say that you had a lot of free time that day and you had time to at least get one, maybe two more bags from just PvP and getting more Warzone commendation. So let's say that day you get like, I don't know, Sorry. 17 bags maybe, 18 bags. I mean, it's, that's a pretty high chance of getting some loot. And um, even though like champion bags right now, I think it's like, I don't know the exact percentage, but... I think I opened like 65 bags, actually maybe a bit more than that. And I got like about 13, 14 pieces. Some of them are duplicate pieces, unfortunately, which I just give to my companions whenever I have them. So uh, that's pretty much what I do. And also you get Centurion Commendation in these champion bags. You get three if uh, there's no item and you get one if there's an item. So um, what I, what like since I have most of my champion, uh, what, what I do with my center recommendation, I just buy gear for my <laughs> companions. It's pretty funny, like my Ashar is almost full Centurion gear now. Which is pretty funny. <laughs> and uh, since uh, I use Ashar more, and I also have the Zalek campaign, which is like the same class as I am. So whenever I get like duplicate pieces of, of my champion set, I just give it to that NPC since he used the same gear as I do. So it's pretty nice. Eventually, I'm gonna have like two uh, very geared companions, which is pretty cool. I, I kind of need to build their affection though. Like I've been slacking on that. Like giving gifts to your companions is actually gonna help them pro uh, like do their uh, crew skill quest and stuff like faster, and they might crit more and shit. And like uh, it's gonna give you like for crafting purposes, it's gonna be it's gonna be very useful. And this guy is about to score! I'm like, I can't stop him, I'm trying, but fire prevent Mary. So I'm hoping that they're gonna knock him down, but at this point it's pretty much a goal, yep. So 3 to 2 for us, I'm up to 7 medals. And I keep saying this, but medals are very important, like, even if you're, let's say you're a healer, you can, I think you only have 3 medals available to you via healing so you need to DPS a bit at some point like get like maybe a solo kill or uh, a kill, some killing blows and maybe like some a certain amount of damage dealt because or else you're just gonna like you're leveling not leveling phase but your Valor ranks are gonna go up very slowly and um, like the more medals you get the more Valor you get each medal gives you 50 Valor and Valor is the DXP you need so um, yeah, the more Valor you get, the faster your Valor ranks will go up. It means the faster you're going to reach Battle Master, maybe one day, eventually. It means the uh, sooner you're going to be able to buy uh, Battle Master bags. And for Battle Master stuff, I mean, probably anybody that's like very near Battle Master rank will know this, but I'm still going to tell you guys. Uh, Battle Master stuff is the Tier 3 um, PvP gear, and it's pretty hard to get in terms of grinding like takes a while but it's the best gear right now uh, for pvp and um the only way to get it that i know of is doing dailies and weeklies so you can only get two bags per day and the day you do your weekly you're gonna get four like your two weeklies and your two dailies so you're limited to like what 14 bags per week so it's a like a 
bit harder grind, I guess. Like, it's not a grind actually, it's just you're limited. Like, you cannot farm Battle Master gear. Except, uh, you have three pieces that, um, for Battle Master that will require you 200 Mercenary Commendation and 200 um, Warzone Commendation. But these are only the two implants you can buy and the earpiece. So basically saving up 600 mercenary commendation and 600 warzone commendation will be useful so you can buy these three pieces right as soon as you hit Valor rank 60. Alright, so back to the game after some explanation on the PvP system I guess. Uh, it's 3 and 2 for now. We're still winning but like it's not like by a huge margin so we're probably going to try and uh, you know, put some space in between so that we can relax a bit. And, um, right now we have a pug running the ball, getting stunned on the fire plate. You're a burn, kid! I'm just kidding. Actually, I'm not. <laughs> but it's cool, it's cool. And then right now we have some people in the guild chat bitching about operatives being a bit kind of strong. I mean, I'm not saying they're OP, but I do think that they scale a bit too much with gear at level 50. Like, a properly geared operative will scale more with gear than any other class in my opinion and which makes that they like uh, you're usually dead by the time your the knockdown is uh, over you know so it's kind of a pain like I mean I can kill most operatives in a one versus one situation let's say if it was a duel because I can kite them or like knock him off something but in a situation where it's a team and like you're getting focus fire or whatever, like you get just get insta killed, so you don't have much. And even if you don't get insta killed, like you are being knocked down. So like by the time the knockdown's over, you're pretty much in deep shit. So right now we have our tank trying to score, and he's uh, getting swarmed by people. Try to get across here. So uh, he's about to score. Yeah, another goal, four to two. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go get the ball, try and get five to two. And right now I'm at nine medals, so ka-ching! lots of Vader points, lots of commendation. So it makes me happy. I'm a happy panda now. <laughs> so right now I'm pretty sure the enemy team is pretty much uh, decimated. Like they gate, they're giving up. So this is gonna be an easy score for me, right? Right? <gasps> they're coming! Oh no, I'm stunned. I'm stunned! Ah, I'm getting shocked! Ah, and I almost fell down but I didn't and then I clicked my accept on my slicing stuff because crafting is more important than PvP! <laughs> Just kidding. I uh, know it's kind of annoying that whenever you're PvPing like all the crew skill pop-ups like interrupt you and shit I mean like I really wish you could queue like several jobs at a time and they don't like annoy you every time that they like finish something it's like seriously shut the fuck up you've been doing the same job for like a week now nope. leave me alone kind of sucks that they nerfed slicing though recently and now I'm getting the zerg like these guys are like oh kill him kill him let's see now it's cool it's cool I mean I knew I wouldn't get immortal in the first place when I died at, like with four medals so it's no big deal alright so now it's five to two for us and the enemy team has the ball so they're probably going to try and score, but even if they did, they have 1 minute and 30 seconds left, so there's no way they can get 3 scores in that amount of time. Especially not against us. I'm just kidding. But um, their chances are very slim. And um, usually what usually happens, which kind of sucks because there's no brackets and all, and I would much rather prefer facing other 50s than just farming low levels. But um, it's somewhat like hard to avoid, I guess. Is just farming other teams. Like let's say it's five zero, and there's like ten minutes left, <laughs> and then we end up farming the other team. I mean, I know it sucks for the other team, but like, are we supposed to just end it and get like shit commendation? And I'm burning right now, and um, like having to wait like fifteen fifteen minute queue after. Like it's it's kind of sucky, you know. So. I mean, it sucks to farm other people, but it sucks dealing with like shitty fucking Vader and Commendation and like huge queues, so... I don't know. I mean, obviously I'm queuing with a pre-made, which is why my queues are longer. If I queue solo, my queues would probably be pretty fast. But um, I'm kind of scared of pugs, honestly. I don't know. I mean, sometimes pugs are so bad. Alright, so 15 seconds left, game is pretty much over. 
So uh, yeah, keep in mind guys, like right now I got 10 medals, so that's like a lot of Valor, a lot of Commendation. It's pretty nice, so make sure to get as many medals as possible without like just farming them, like try to still do the objectives obviously. And um, win the game, victory is always nice, I like doing seeing some green up there, you know. So yeah, that's cool, 5 talent credits, lots of Valor, and MVP votes, yeah! Alright guys, thanks for watching, this was Alex from Not Casuals, and if you liked the video, make sure to leave a comment and subscribe, you can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter, links are in the description box guys. Oh and by the way, we also stream sometimes, not that often, but links is also in the description box, so come check us out!